What we're going to learn in this video is how to install a Nginx web reverse proxy and we're going to test it with a simple web page with only HTML and let's encrypt. So we are now connected in our server and what we we'll need to, to install is Git. We've already installed it. If you don't have it, just apply apt install git. In this case, we're going to install the Let's Encrypt Nginx Proxy Companion from Everett Ramos. We click here. And this is the code, the, the documentation. So we need to organize our folders. We go to var folder. Let's make this directory, www directory, make a docker directory, and then the nginx proxy directory. Since we're going to test with a web page as well, let's make this directory. And let's install this application tree. So we can see what we've got so far here. This is the directory. So let's go to the nginx proxy directory. And now let's clone this project, which is git clone the repo space and dot. This is to specify that the repository should be copied where we are exactly located without the need to create another folder. So it's important this dot. Now let's see what we got. We need to create a dot m file. So we do it like this and we start to edit it. Here we paste the IP address of our server. which is this one in my case. And then for security reasons, let's enable the Nginx config files here by uncommenting this line. Escape, colon, write, and quit, enter. With this command, we can see all the containers running, which there is no one. Just as the documentation says, let's start this script by typing start.sh. And that's it, we already got our Nginx proxy. So now let's test it out with a simple web page. Let's go to the web pages folder. We're going to test a simple Tailwind Lime land page. So we make the directory. So this is the repo that we're going to copy. So we clone the, the repo URL and we type git clone the repo space dot to copy all the contents in this directory. As always, let's create a environment file. We can make comments and start typing. Let's specify our domain for Let's Encrypt. The volumes, in this case, where is located our web page directory. That means in this same directory. So we can get rid of that. We simply want to run it on an Nginx Alpine. Let's give our containers a name and service name. And let's tell again the domain that we are using. And the most important thing is to, to tell what is the network of our web proxy. Escape and we save it. Colon, write. But maybe we can enhance here the domain in order not to repeat everything. So we can here say domain like this. Domain and also here domain. Let's write and quit. Now what we need to do is to create a docker compose.yaml file. We start typing, we specify the networks. In this case, network variable comes from the .m file. Then we should type the services. And we simply specify that we're going to use the nginx. And we're going only to expose the AD port, where are the volumes. And also, very important, the domain for virtual host. Let's encrypt host and let's encrypt email. Escape, colon write and quit enter in order to run our web page we simply type docker compose up hyphen d now let's browse our simple web page in this case this is my domain tw hyphen lan page and yes you can see we already got a web page with https of let's encrypt